Hello everybody and welcome to Kane's Camp 14. Big day today, glorious day today. First day in pads for the University of Miami and the players responded. They were ready for it. They attacked today's practice with a lot of energy, a lot of focus and plenty of contact all across the field. One of the areas that we're going to focus on today is that wide receiver. Good competition there, not only with guys like Stacy Coley and Philip Dorsett that are back from a year ago, but also we're going to zero in on a big matchup between Herb Waters and Malcolm Lewis. Herb Waters from Homestead High School, outstanding speed, an electric player, 38 career catches, seven career touchdowns. Malcolm Lewis is from Miramar, got off to a really good start and then of course suffered that horrific injury, battled through some things last year, but it looks like Malcolm Lewis has turned the corner. Both Waters and Lewis are ready to help the Hurricanes this year. Today is the day. With us today is University of Miami wide receivers coach Brendan Carroll. Coach, thanks so much for being with us. And uh, one of the groups that we're focusing in on, the wide receivers, and a pretty good position battle going there. Absolutely. You have Malcolm Lewis and Herb Waters, two guys battling to get on the field. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. The, both third year guys that have, uh, that have played a lot of ball for us. Um, obviously, Malcolm uh, had his injury, but uh, he's back to the strength right now. So uh, there's a lot of competition out there right now. Herb Waters uh, has played for two years, 38 career catches, been kind of a touchdown maker for you, seven touchdowns in a variety of ways. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that he brings to this competition. Uh, he's got a, he's got a ton of speed. He's a great athlete. Um, he can he can scorch you. He can take it to the end zone from just about anywhere. He's taken on reverses, on short passes, on deep balls. Um, so he's always a threat to score. Um, Malcolm is a uh, he's an he's an every down guy, man. He can he can wear you out from the inside, outside. Um, so uh, you know the competition is is throughout the position, but those two guys are battling right now. Malcolm got off to a great start in his career. The touchdown against Boston College. Absolutely. Then a couple weeks later was injured against Georgia Tech, but it really does seem like he's turned the corner now. Absolutely. You know, he, he came back last year and and and, uh, and did a great job getting back, um, but he really needed uh, this past offseason to get in, in the best shape of his life. Um, he's he's down from about 200 to about um, just under that, so uh, he's still he's still got great size. Um, but uh, we've turned a lot of fat off him, so he's, he's looking fast and sleek out there. How do those guys view the competition? They're going hard at it every day, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's competition uh, within the position, um, but it's also uh, with themselves to really get the best out of themselves and maximize their opportunities. Um, and uh, and the, guys have, the guys have bought in and they're, and they're fighting like crazy out there. I think on one of the sidebars, it's kind of a neat thing about your offense and, and your wide receiver group. Uh, microcosm of it, Herb, Homestead, Malcolm from Miramar, so both mm -hmm local guys decide to stay home and play in front of the local fans. It's, it's great when those guys get to walk out of the stadium, uh, Sun Life, and, and, and see their families and, uh, and be around the, uh, you know, their friends and, and guys who watch the game, the coaches and stuff like that. So um, as well, you know, and they formed a great bond with each other, with each other's parents and the families are all close. And um, it's great to see those guys after the games get to, get to be around their, their loved ones. And today's only the first day in pads, so I would imagine Malcolm and Herb got a long way to go in this competition. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we're we're really just getting started on uh, day four or five here, and um, but uh, 
we're excited to see what these guys are going to do. Uh, I really think they're uh, they're going to turn it on and play their best ball this morning. Away from those two guys, you have great competition at the other spots as well. Not to say that there isn't. Stacy's battling to get his job. Mm -hmm. uh, Rashawn Scott is out there battling Phil Dorsett, coming off an injury. He's fighting hard as well. Absolutely. You know, we like to give these guys a clean slate every year and, and uh, tell them to battle it out. You know, some of the guys who are maybe down on the, on the depth chart, um, they're getting pushed to the front to see what they can do. Uh, the young guys are absolutely getting pushed, and, uh, yeah. pushed in uh, to service right now to see if they can handle it. If they can hang, we're going to leave them in there. Yeah. We, we know that their potential is going to uh, going to take them uh, take them places we want to see. So um, we're excited about the whole group, top to bottom. Some of those young guys, Tyree Brady has come in and done a nice job for you. David Njoku, he's uh, performing pretty well. So Absolutely. they want to put their imprint on this team. Yeah, the, uh, what they have right off the bat is they got great size. Um, you know, Tyree six three, six four, and uh, David six four, six five. So uh, really big receivers. Um, something that you know last year we, we were hovering around six foot for the most part. Um, so uh, it's good. We're, we're multi-dimensional. We're uh, we're dynamic. I, I think we got a really good group. So uh, in the off season, well, kind of the off season it was January, there is no February. Off season, right? We all know. Really was no off. But uh, you went to, to uh, New York because your dad won the Super Bowl. What was I, that like? Coach Golden let me sneak away for uh, for the Sunday. We had a recruiting weekend, so I, I, I got to skip the uh, the breakfast. Um, but uh, I got up to go uh, go see the the Hawks uh, pull out a great victory, and uh, it was great to great to see that. So. Um, I think it's Coach Gold for let me sneak away. Maybe some of that will rub off here. Absolutely. I, I like the hat, by the way. Can I have it? Yes. A little soggy here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it on your head. You can have it back. All right. That's <laughs> Brandon Carroll. Right now, we've got the plays of the day. Go Canes. We started off with defense. This is Corn Elder in coverage. Good job. Up the ladder and has the interception. This is a beauty, Kevin Olsen deep for Braxton Berrios in a wrestling match. And this one is won by Berrios, the freshman from North Carolina. Jake keeps confident in the pocket, finds Clive Walford down the sidelines behind Darian Owens. This is Jake Heaps from the end zone with a heavenly throw to Malcolm Lewis. It's an exquisite combination. Kai under heavy pressure, Dion Bush on the other end. Nice job with the deflection. First day of pads, here come the big hitters. Carter and Perryman. Red zone, Jay keeps precise execution. Stanish Dobar touchdown. All right, those are the plays of the day. Team is back on the field tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Next week, the Canes will have their first scrimmage. Don't forget, you can follow Hurricanes football on Twitter at Canes Football. You can follow us on HurricaneSports.com and get your season tickets at 1-800-GO-CANES or CanesTix.com. Seven great home games of riveting action. This is why you came to Miami. That's why you came here. That's why you wanted to be a hurricane. There's a certain aura about us that people want to be part of. The U holds up, man. It's here. It's here. It's something special. You see, it's here. Entrance. You've seen it before, and it never grows old. He has some room at the third. 35 breaks the tackle at the 40. Coley has midfield, and he has nobody in front of him. There goes Coley for the end zone. It's intercepted by Tracy Howard. It's going to be intercepted by Gunner. He's going to take it all the way. He's at the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Hurricanes! He's got him! Touchdown, Miami! He has such ridiculous speed and great leg strength and balance. Can he outrun the linebacker, Coley? He can't. 